Oh, 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 what do we have here? More Super Mario All-Stars? What game is it gonna be? What game? Come on, actually you could probably guess it by the video title. It is gonna be the last game that I haven't played in all of these. Yep, it's Lost Levels. Oh boy, this is gonna be a heck of a walkthrough here. This game has the controls that I dislike from the original Mario and combine it with some Kaizo-like level design. Now, The Lost Levels, this game is actually the real deal Super Mario Bros. 2, not the Super Mario Bros. 2 that I played before. That was a game ga called Doki Doki Panic. This is the actual Super Mario Bros. 2. And they never released it in the U.S. until uh, Super Mario All-Stars came out, of which they renamed it The Lost Levels because it was The Lost Levels. I forgot why they never released it in America, or I should say outside of Japan. I, I think it was because it was too hard and they didn't want to tarnish the reputation of the Mario series. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about that though. I, I sometimes get my history wrong, you should know me. And look at this, there's a, there's a mushroom right there. So the only way I can get it out is to like flip it out like that. Otherwise I would have to jump in there with the Koopa. And that's a poisonous mushroom. Uh, that's where they first started coming from. Oh, and I should also explain the controls. You got your jump, you got your run button, and that's pretty much it. You can duck by pressing down, but left and right will move you left and right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as I said, I don't like the controls in this Mario, because when you're in midair, you cannot control your jump very well. You can only control it by the momentum that you had when you jumped up into the air. So if you don't have momentum, you're not getting anywhere, and if you do have momentum, you may fly further than you expected. And that was very bad timing for me to grab that star, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this Lost Level starts out fairly easy gonna get pretty dang evil later <laughs> so at that time I'm probably gonna be pulling my hair out um, I've only beaten this game like I think it was three times in my life and I, I did them all when I was younger and I never I never liked playing through this game all that much when I was a kid so I'm kind of like re-experiencing it now in a way since I got the hang of uh, the original Mario controls again you know Mario 1 controls so I thought, hey, let's give this a shot. And look at how fast that Koopa is going. Look at him go. And that's another thing that is that enemies are quite a bit faster. Kind of similar to how the star levels are in the original Mario. You know, once you beat the game once, or at least some enemies are. And I should also mention, there's warp zones. Uh, some warp zones, they will lead you... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they will lead you to warp zones that will actually take you back in levels yes they are evil like that and you can't leave those warp zones that's why i say there's kaizo like level design in these suckers and i'm not a big fan of kaizo in like mario hacks and stuff like that i would prefer just fair flat out level design if you're gonna beat me you better beat me fair and square i don't like to be surprised that's Kind of a reason why I don't like Mega Man games, and people are going to be like, No, Mega Man is like the best game ever! What are you talking about? You're an idiot! I'm disliking this video and I'm leaving it! <gasps> but that's just me. <laughs> I'm only speaking for myself here, not for the entire uh, gaming community. So, yeah. And I believe I can just jump up there if I were, were to go to the warp zone but I'm not going to be going through the warp zone because as I said I like playing through Mario games without warps just to experience them in their entirety and that's world 1 2 oh and I should also mention the all-stars version of Mario 2 is that it saves the game after every level so even if you die you can still restart the level that you started it at. The original version, you would have to start from the beginning of the game. Well, once you run out of lives, excuse me. I should say once you game over, you would have to restart from the beginning of the game. But in this one, no, that's not the case. And look at this, there's bloopers out of water now. This is getting ridiculous. That makes absolutely no sense. Even though in later games, like Paper Mario, there was bloopers that were out of water, like the ones in the sewer areas. I if, if you recall some of them, uh, so I guess that they can breathe 
out of water somehow, even though that's not what squids do. And oh, look, that's the end of the level. Yay! Oh, and I should also mention I'm not doing this one in movie format, because as I get up in the later levels, it's going to take me a while to beat some of these, believe me. <laughs> uh, for, at least from what I remember. Unless I'm a lot better Mario player than what I used to be, which I highly doubt, because Mario 1, as I've said before, is not my forte. And look at... What the... Come on! That's ridiculous. I can't get that freaking fire flower. That is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> I, mean, I, I guess I could get it if I had a running jump, but is that seriously worth risking the lava there just to get a fire flower for, you know, dodging? I shouldn't say, you're not even dodging any hits, it, because it doesn't give you one extra hit at that point. And uh, I'm just going to shimmy myself along here, and there we go. Woohoo! That is a quick battle, and that's how most Bowser battles go, as I said in my Mario 1 walkthrough. And this is ridiculous. She's kidnapped again, and my intel was wrong. Why did I even go to this castle anyway? I should have just went with my instincts and went over to World 2 at first. And yeah, you get the idea. Oh, holy poopers, I shouldn't have jumped. I should have just walked right under that Koopa. Unless it was too late, I'm not too sure there. But it is too late now, and I lost the life. And there's a dang fruit fly flying around my face. <sighs> of all the things... Why does it have to be a fruit fly right now? And that is not going to kill that Koopa. But I would like a mushy mushy. Yay for mush mush. That is tasty nutrition to make you grow up healthy and strong in like a second or two. And a star. Why are you here? And whoa, this is getting weird here. You got some cutoff next to the pipes there. See the graphical cutoff next to the pipes? I always thought they looked pretty weird even as a kid. And it's kind of funny because in a lot of Mario hat. Whoa! I forgot the super springy thingies that <laughs> keep you up in the sky for a very long time there. Anyway, as I was saying, in Mario Hacks, cutoff in graphics is usually pretty discouraged in a way. Uh, because you can cover the cutoff and stuff like that, so... Woo! Look at me go! <laughs> I should not be among the land... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say I shouldn't be above the water, excuse me. Water is instant death. For some reason, you can swim in it when you go down into a pipe into the water, but you can't land into the water. You just plummet right to the death. The down is death, yes. <laughs> It makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I think the next one... Oh, no, it's not a swimming level just, just yet. But once a swimming level comes up, you'll see that you can swim in the water, but not the water that's in these, like, land stages here. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And, yeah. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't question the game logic too much. And, whoa, that was a weird jump hit there. It's like I hit him on the front. That's something that you could do in uh, Super Mario World. And, wow, I almost died there. Because I didn't have enough forward momentum. That would have really sucked. Because, yeah, as I said, this, this the momentum system, when you're in midair, it's just really weird. It's You can't control yourself very well. You gotta... Your, uh, in, your jump height as well as your distance is pretty much determined by how fast you are running before the jump. And that's pretty dang awkward to get the hang of. <laughs> then there's gonna be some pros that are gonna be like, What you are a weakling, you shouldn't be playing this game if you don't know how to control this game. And wait, 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 what? What? Blind? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I thought. This is what I mean about the Kaizo-ness about this game. I do not approve of this kind of level design. And where is the freaking other block? Please tell me that I can reach this. Well, it doesn't matter now. There's no way I was going to make that jump. <laughs> uh, where do I start from? Um, am I at the beginning? Am I seriously at the beginning? I got pretty far in this level. I don't deserve to be... To be at the beginning. I didn't even mean to jump on that Koopa. I just hopped on him and that, yeah, that didn't work out for me. But as I said, if I game over, it doesn't really matter all that much anyway, because I'm just going to restart from the very beginning of a level and with all my lives intact. So yeah, game overs mean pretty much nothing in this Mario. And where, come on, come on, come on, man. <laughs> Am I seriously supposed to are they expect- Oh, you can get up here, okay. <laughs> no, 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 Oh. Well, what am I supposed to, like, running jump that sucker all the way up to- Oh. 
boy, this is... <laughs> Wait, did I scroll the screen too far over? Yeah. <laughs> See, I can't, like, back jump with momentum thanks to this game's momentum system. Oh, I hate Mario 1's controls. <laughs> but I'm doing this one just for fun and to pick fun at the controls. <laughs> this is like early generation Mario game here. So, you know, they were still polishing this and whatnot into what we see Mario games of today. So I guess I can give them that, but still, uh, the controls, they anger me so. Uh, I think after I finish this level, if I manage to finish this level, I am going to end off this part, and then the next part I'll start using cuts and stuff like that for when I die and whatnot. Because um, I'm sure the levels are going to start killing me more and more as I go, and progress is going to be less and less as I go, and it's going to get worse. Worse and worse. Okay. Blocky. 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 Thank you. So, now I'm gonna wait for Mr. Piranha up there, and no, that's not gonna work. I need to do a flip floppy. Nope. Don't have enough momentum. Okay, and no. Oh, why the, sc the screen is scrolled too much again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> This is what I mean about the Kaizo-ness. I do not like level design like this, especially when the co controls are like this. You just do not have the amount of control that you need for something like this. It is very sucky. <sighs> and I'm probably going to be complaining like a baby through the entire walkthrough, but eh, you'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> okay, block. Thank you. Okay, now jump. Now jump! What? What do they want out of me here? Now it's, now it's too far forward, isn't it? Do I have enough rhythm to... Okay, maybe maybe I can get up there normally. <sighs> Is there another block there somewhere? Seriously? Because I'm not seeing any block there. I would think if there was another block, I would be able to see it. <laughs> and whoa, no, no. Lovely. <laughs> That was another one of those cases that I didn't mean to hit the Koopa on. Yeah. Whenever you're in a corral with a Koopa like that in such a tight in such tight quarters, it gets pretty chaotic if you hit a shell and you're almost guaranteed to, to take a hit there. Not something that you'd want to do. Okay, let's just try and do this normally to get the practice. Come on. There we go. Now, anything. Please, something. Eh. Oh, pfft. Jesus Christ. This is what I mean. Invisible blocks like that impede your progress. See, that jump would have been impossible normally. But no, no, no. You gotta find the other hidden block that's a square back away from the block that you hit and the block, to, or I should say, the pipe that you want to go to. And yeah. I'm done for now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when we do 2-3. What the heck kind of jingle is that? I have, I have no idea. That was not a Mario tune or any tune whatsoever. I guess it was an original work. I should probably sell that on a CD.